Hey, my name is Carmen Geddes and welcome to class today. Today I'm going to show you some continuing on with piecing on top of the grid and show you a few tips that have made the whole process a lot more fun and easy for me. And so I am going to show you, I have one panel all ironed down. Okay. And so when I finish a panel, the logical thing is to start doing the sewing right away. But what I want to do is I want to continue on with the gluing. So I am not pinning basically. I want this pin cushion to be for decoration. I don't actually want to use it. So what we're going to do is after this is um, actually my top corner here and we're going to move this way. So when I'm finished ironing all the squares on and you're going to use some steam and, and really get those nice and pressed. I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm just gonna cut. Don't cut the fabric, just cut right next to the fabric, right along the edge. And as you can see, this doesn't have to be exact. Scissors work great. We don't need to uh, use a rotary cutter and a ruler, it'll be fine. And then this side that's a little bit bigger, I'm gonna cut this one off because we're gonna use that. Um, this pattern is so fun. It just, uh, everybody who sees this quilt behind me um, has a story that it reminds them of. You know, it reminds me of, reminds them of their grandma's house or it reminds them of, you know, of something, something old. And I just, I love these reproduction fabrics. I think they're so much fun and scrappy, always works. Okay, so now we have trimmed this off and I'm going to take the next grid and I am going to lay it fusible side up. Okay, so you want to fill the bumps and you want to be able to read the numbers and the logo should be upside down. Okay, I'm going to fold this one up a little bit just to kind of get it out of the way. And then I'm going to lay it right side up. And then I'm going to take the one that I just finished ironing and I'm going to lay it on top. I'm going to put some glasses on, make sure this is right. And if we zoom in a little bit, we're gonna see that we're gonna butt that edge of the square right up to that dotted line. Now, here's a good example of, so this one's off a little bit, but don't worry because as long as we fold this on the fold line and do our quarter inch seam allowance, this is actually a very forgiving process. That is gonna catch in the seam allowance and it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna butt this up and then I'm gonna take my iron and I wanna make sure I'm only on top of the fabric. Remember, this is fusible, so you do not want to get, um, you don't wanna get that iron on top of that fusible interfacing. So we're gonna run along here with the iron and just fuse these two, which my iron is hot, together. You could also do this with a glue stick. We can use a washable school glue stick and let's just run the glue stick. This might give you a little bit more security. And we're going to just line this up. Now this process right here of adding on to the next grid, it could be done. I could even, I could sew some of these vertical lines on this panel and then fuse on the next panel. It doesn't have to be done before any sewing is done. Okay, and so then we're gonna get, let me fold that one more time so we can reach our fabrics. And so then we're gonna start placing our fabrics. So here's where this one goes. This is just kind of like fun puzzle piecing to me. This is actually a fun project to get the husband and the kids involved maybe. It's also a great project or quilting groups to do together because each person can take a section and do all that placement. Sometimes when groups do a quilt together, the blocks don't turn out the same size because of seam allowance. But if you had one person sewing and everyone helping do the placement, then those blocks would be exactly the same. Okay, can you see what's happening here? 
So I'm just moving on to the next grid, continuing on with my pattern. So it's as easy as that. And so whatever size you're comfortable with, sometimes I have done one grid and then I'll, I will attach two or three of them together before I start doing any sewing. And so then there's no pinning at all. You can do whatever size section you're comfortable with. You could probably even do a baby size quilt, just ironing all your panels together as you're gluing your squares down and having no pins. So then the pin cushion will actually be just for decoration. So thanks for joining me today and letting me share this with you. I think this is gonna make this even more fun um, for you to do these patterns. So be sure to subscribe and like us and leave any comments or questions that you have below and be sure to check us out on 10sisters.com. Thanks for coming to class.